title, Echoes of Celestial Souls. Part one, The Hook. A brilliant comet streaked across the night sky, its radiant tail painting a silver arc above the quiet coastal town of Clearwater. Doctor Alan Hauser stood on the cliff's edge, eyes fixed on the celestial display, mind whirring with calculations and theories. To most, it was merely a stunning natural phenomenon. But to Alan, it was an omen. He knew what few could even dream of. The cosmos was speaking in a language of gravitational whispers and orbital dances, hinting at a story far more complex and dangerous than anyone could imagine. Three weeks prior, a classified observatory deep in the Andes had picked up irregularities in the orbits of the planets in our solar system. Alan, an astrophysicist renowned for his work on orbital mechanics, was summoned to decode the anomaly. What he discovered chilled him to the bone, the signs of a three-body problem unfolding within the solar system, a chaotic dance of celestial bodies that could spell doom for Earth if not understood and addressed. Part two, the discovery. Weeks of sleepless nights and frantic calculations led Alan, along with his colleagues Dr. Mei Ling and Dr. Rafael Torres, to a startling conclusion. The irregularities were not local, but extraterrestrial. A rogue star system comprised of three unstable suns had entered the outer fringes of our solar neighborhood, its gravitational forces beginning to wreak havoc. Every model they created ended in catastrophe. The gravitational interplay between the rogue suns and our own planets was too chaotic to predict. The three-body problem, a classical unsolvable puzzle in celestial mechanics, was no longer a theoretical curiosity, but an existential threat. We need more data, May insisted, her usually steady voice quivering with urgency. Apothry the solution. Raphael, the mathematician, was the first to propose a radical idea. Quantum computing. We need to leverage quantum computing to simulate this complexity. Alan nodded, knowing the theory, but wary of its practical application. Time was running out. Tidal forces were slowly but surely altering Earth's orbit. Weather patterns were shifting and seismic activities were increasing. They moved their operations to the Quantum Computing Research Facility at MIT, where the world's most advanced machine awaited. Days blurred into nights as they fed their data into the quantum beast, hoping for a solution. And then, one evening as the comet reappeared in the sky, it happened. The simulation stabilized, revealing a narrow window of opportunity. The Lagrange points, Alan whispered eyes wide with realization. We need to reposition our satellites and space stations into the Lagrange points to create a counterforce, a gravitational buffer to mitigate the chaos. Part four, the race. It was a race against time. Governments mobilized, resources were pooled, and humanity united under the shadow of impending cosmic disaster. Rockets launched into the sky, carrying payloads of hope and engineering marvels. Satellites were reprogrammed, space stations adjusted their orbits, and astronaut teams worked tirelessly in the harsh void of space. In the final hours, as the rogue system's influence grew stronger, the newly aligned satellites and stations began their delicate dance. The gravitational forces balanced on a knife edge, and for a moment, the world held its breath. Part 5. The Aftermath. The comet streaked past Earth for the last time, a celestial witness to humanity's triumph. The gravitational buffer held, and the rogue system slowly drifted away, its chaotic influence diminishing. Earth had weathered the storm, but the scars remained both in the environment and in the collective psyche of its inhabitants. Dr. Alan Hauser stood once more on the cliff's edge, watching the calm night sky. May and Raphael joined him, silence speaking volumes of their shared ordeal. We did it, May finally said. 
voice filled with quiet pride. Alan nodded, but his eyes were distant. We did, but the cosmos is vast and unpredictable. We must always be vigilant. And so they returned to their studies, knowing that the dance of celestial bodies was far from over and that humanity's journey among the stars had only just begun.